Welcome back for another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, what I want to speak about today in this video tutorial is something that's very important uh, for you to grasp as a graphic designer, um, and that is uh, how to design a professional looking business card uh, in um, whatever program, but obviously in this tutorial it's going to be in Adobe Illustrator. So in later tutorials I'll show you how to do all this stuff in Photoshop too. Uh, but my my uh, my layouts primarily come out of Illustrator. Uh, my image editing is where I do everything in Photoshop basically. So um, if you're looking at the screen you're going to notice um, a logo for ABC Company which I spoke about in another tutorial on how to create a professional logo uh, design in, in Illustrator. And uh, what I'm going to do is kind of um, I'm going to kind of continue that tutorial and make a business card out of this this very basic uh, quickly thrown together logo so uh, just give you a kind of ideas of you know what to do in business cards I'm gonna be doing a lot more tutorials on building business cards and uh, you should also be looking at um, you know anywhere you go and you see people have their business cards out you should definitely be picking them up uh, to see the different types of layouts and designs um, you know or looking on the internet you know typing the word business card design and uh, going to images uh, in uh, in like Google or something just to get an idea and uh, you know what if you see elements you like like I always say uh, you know learn from them and utilize them in your own artwork it's not stealing it's using ideas and uh, you know you're creating your own ideas off of that so that being said uh, let's get back to the screen right now if you go uh, on, if you're on YouTube right now under this under this video I'm going to put a link to the page uh, the specific page on my website with this tutorial because on that page uh, there's going to be a link you can click to download this business card template uh, without this logo of course um, if you're if you're on the website right now um, you can click that link and it's basically gonna look like everything we have here without that logo okay and a couple things I want to point out I'm gonna zoom out real quick this is a two by three and a half business card template uh, two by three and a half is a standard business card size. Nowadays, um, you know, there's all different types of, uh, you know, creative types of business cards out there. There's thinner business cards. There's business cards that are blocks. Uh, even, uh, you know, I've seen triangular business cards. Um, anything that, you know, can pe keep people remembering who you are, uh, that's, that's how you build that bridge to people. You know, um, obviously meeting them and introducing them, telling them about your services, but you know when they look at that card, uh, or you know if that card's on their fridge, you want to hope that it stands out. That maybe they'll think of you one day, or somebody else will think of you. Uh, you know when they're looking at their fridge and they go, "Oh, that's a nice card," you know, and it kind of makes them think that this business is a professional business because they have a very nice looking business card. So back on the screen, um, under that uh, under that headline, you're gonna see uh, you're gonna see first. Uh, the black line is the finished size, the two by three and a half. So if you see where my mouse is going right now, that's obviously the black line. That's going to be the final size of the business card. Uh, this blue area out here is the bleed area. Um, I like to at least incorporate an eighth of an inch bleed to a quarter of an inch. But I always use an eighth because an eighth is enough. I've been in printing long enough where I know an eighth is enough. So that, if you add an eighth, obvious, obviously, to each side, you're going to have your document go from two by three and a half to two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So um, that being said, the if you're wondering what the red area is, the red area is the margin to stay within. Um, Business cards tend to sh not, I want to say shift, but when they're printing, um, you know, and they're printing large stacks and high stacks of cards, uh, you want to make sure that none of your copy is near the edge because there is a chance that that copy could actually be cut off. Or, you know, if you have things that are close to the edge, you could, your cuts might go right to the end of your copy and it's going to look really funny uh, because in that case, things obviously are not going to be aligned anymore. Uh, if you had a nice um, headline going through the whole thing and it was completely centered on your card, now people are going to see without a doubt that this thing is definitely off center. So something to keep in mind, definitely. Um, but the margin is where you want to stay within. So anything outside of that red, 
you should not have any type outside of that red or logo elements. Uh, you can have your background image obviously go through there and your background image will if you have one because it's going to go through and it's going to cover up where the bleed is. So that's how we're going to read that template real quick. Um, and we're going to take this ABC company logo that I created and we're going to, um, if you look over here on the layers, the template is on the bottom of the layer. Uh, that template I just showed you and now the logo is on top so uh, we're gonna design this logo on top of that template and I'm going to I'm going to lighten that red up because it's it's kind of annoying right now to really design around it so I'm gonna come down to like a 10% transparency on it so you can see it but it's it's very very faint okay and we're gonna maybe take this logo and since now since this is something to know um, and this is why it's good to look at other design and it's important that this logo is a blocky type of a logo which will make it easy to design with because there's nothing really hanging off uh, all by itself everything's kind of contained but it is a wider type of a logo so um, if you're going to if you really want the logo that is big on your business card then where are you gonna fit all the information your name uh, website uh, telephone numbers um, you know address the basic information what happens nowadays is a lot of people create a two-sided business card where on one side you have something very prominent like the logo and maybe below the logo you'll see like the web address span the whole card that's a big thing these days uh, because it's it's an important thing and obviously when they turn on the other side of the card that's where gonna, they're gonna get their meat and potatoes that's where they're gonna get all the information that they need about you so but in this case we're gonna create a one-sided card um, with this logo which means we're going to have to shrink this logo just a bit okay and I'm gonna pull this guy up here okay and I'm gonna start building my text elements um, let's see your name right here actually let's put an actual name maybe John Smith and below it the way that I'm doing this is I'm holding out option clicking and I'm dragging but I'm holding the shift when I drag so it creates a copy of that and it keeps the same font and I'm gonna just put this guy up here I'm gonna make John Smith a little bit larger because obviously you want John to stand out and following uh, I mean I'm using a sans serif font right now which means there's no serifs on the end kind of like this ABC uh, if I wanted to keep the continuity obviously I would change these to times and I'm going to align these to the right okay um, yeah let's leave that like that right now that's pretty cool and I'm going to do P for phone number and maybe this is my area code but I'm not gonna give you my number although it is on my business website but whatever uh, let's see P and we'll do F for fax which is the same thing uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. A lot of people do. The, what you could do is, I mean, if you got, you see, you got blue, you got red, you got pink, and you got orange. Uh, you can maybe change the P to, uh, let's, you know, make it this blue for right now. Let's just make it this blue. It's close enough. But you know, this stuff is not one, two, three. I mean, this is this video. I have a couple minutes left, but um, this is a lot of playing around what I do here uh, in Illustrator. So, I mean, you're never gonna get anything on the first try. And uh, for me to sit here and, and go through all my ideas, uh, it might take a while because I'm a type of person, if somebody's paying me, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure I have my best idea forward. I'm not gonna get an idea together real quick that they're gonna love but I know that I kind of shortcutted things and that's not what you want to do. That's bad business and uh, you know, in the end, you're, um, you're not gonna make out very well in the end by doing that. So uh, maybe come down here and make a bar, all right? And I'm gonna fill that with this blue up here, which is pretty cool. Um, change the angle of my gradient and maybe put the web address really large in here. So. Um, we're going to come to www.abccompany.com. Going to throw white in there. 
Gonna make this guy a little bit bigger. Nowadays, it's really good to have your website prominent uh, because that's where people are gonna learn everything about you when they start to decide if they want to call you or not. So it's uh, it's like having a conversation without them actually talking to you. So learning about your company, what, listening to testimonials, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna kinda eye this up, see if it's centered, yes it is. The way I just did that was I, I grabbed the point, hold, hold shift and option and kinda just, all right, does that meet at the edge? Yes. Like I said, I'm doing a quick fix on this. Um, we are going to want to add the bleed here. So just like my bleed right here, I'm just gonna drag this guy out. Um, probably not 100% dead on, but just for this tutorial, I have a few minutes left. And down here, I'll add an address. One, two, three, Main Street. All right, I'm gonna put a town just kind of like that. You know, there's so many ways you could lay out business cards. I mean, I don't even think it's it's. I'm not gonna do tutorials on on laying out business cards. I'd rather do tutorials on car on websites that have awesome business card layouts that you can learn from, um, because that's really the best way you're going to learn, along with messing around with them yourself, obviously. And pull these guys down, because what's happening here? If I pull up my rulers, I want everything to kind of where this company ends. I want everything to kind of and at the same area so in this case I'm actually gonna pull this down a bit um, and what I would probably do last is this whole big space in here I might put like a couple of services so uh, let me make my bullet point real quick um, you could do that by making a period um, I like to actually draw a ellip little ellipses and ABC company uh, item one configure this one real quick and let's see spell that Alex kind of funny all right item one copy these babies over item two three and you get the point and in this case I'm kind of just eyeing the fact uh, to align these up so um, that's a basic business card uh, you know just with a couple services I might change this around actually what I probably would do is with this type of a business card with the way everything's laid out I'd probably want to make a horizontal card um, because that will be a lot better for the logo that's that is with this kinda like I'm gonna do this real quick because I'm running out of time and Maybe center everything a little bit better. All right. Smith, right here. Pull this guy in. These color bars really separate things. It's very, it's a very nice uh, look. I use them a lot. The color bars. Um, obviously, yep. So item three is the first one, and the web address. So. One, two, three, and four. So we line these up real quick. Line these up real quick. Make sure they're spaced out. And that's a very, very basic business card design. So I mean, you're gonna spend uh, anywhere from a you know an hour or plus on a business card making a couple different variations of stuff. So, uh, again, my name is Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Visit us. Uh, click the link below this video to get that uh, get that template I was speaking about before. And uh, that's it, guys. So have a good night. Uh, hope everything. Hope these videos are helping you out. Peace.